we are talking about the intellectual property and fair use. So we can define the intellectual property by the rights resulting from the intellectual creativity. Anything you are creating are your mentality, uh, trademarks, uh, patents, research work. This creation will be protected by law. It has a right. الحاجة اللي انت بتعملها ذهنيا وبتاخد مجهود فيها لها حق يحميه القانون. So what about copyright definition? It is the protection that extended to the creator itself. ده الحق اللي بيحميك انت كشخص. بيحميك انت كشخص ازاي ان ليك حقوق. So the intellectual property will protect your work while the copyright will protecting you by law. The intellectual property is divided into literature and industry. And the medical field is related to the first one, which is a literary and artistic property. So what is that? Property. Let us first define who is the author. The author is the person who creates that work. إلا عمل الشغل، إلا عمل المحاضرة، إلا عمل البحث. Okay. And according to this concept, you have two rights: two moral rights and financial rights. The moral right is whenever your work has been used by others, they should mention your name. Okay, no one can take your work and put his name over it, even after death. The financial right means you have to gain money from your work. So what we mean by infringement, it is unauthorized use of assets who control has been exclusively granted to the owner. في بعض الحاجات تحق للمؤلف فقط لا غير دي اللي احنا هنقولها كمان شوية خلاص لو حد استخدمها بدون اذنك يقع تحت كلمة infringement so if in anyone can use your work without your permission he, we can call him infringing the work so what is the exclusive rights to the author this means no one can permit for this work. No one has that right except you. The first is copyright, which is not limited only to the reproduction or production of the old work, but enough to preach the right to copy or quote a small part of it. You can use small part, reproduce your work once more again, you can change your work if you are uh, an artist from play to another form of play. And there is another work which is called derivation rights, which means the production of new work depending on the original work. In this case, if you are a book or a book and you to change it to cinema or to film, this is from your rights. جزء تاني منه بيعتمد على الجزء الأول. It is part of your right. Part of the author right is the right of representation. You can deliver a lecture, intervention within which there are broadcasting rights and providing research at a conference. Meaning you can use part or all of your work in another form. Publication or distribution, providing copies of the work commercially or non-commercial. Moral rights mean to put the author name on the work. What about we mean by a related rights? A related rights is rights of person or company who is responsible for distribution of the work and make it available to the public. Let us assume that you have a book 
you are write a, a whole book about your studies and you want to publish this this means you have to print it you have to market it you have distributed and monitored the distribution not of all of us can make this so you are giving your book to a publisher which will do this for you as a result you are giving him part of your rights related rights معناه بالعربي الحقوق المجاورة اما انت بتعمل كتاب او بتعمل بحث وعايز تنشره انت مش دايما قادر على ان انت تنشر هذا البحث او تنشر هذا الكتاب وتسوق له وتتابع التوزيع بتاعه ما الى اخره فبتدي البحث بتاعك او الشغل بتاعك لشركة او لشخص يقوم هو بالشغل ده نظير ان هو هيبقى ليه حقوق والحقوق دي انت بتتفق معاه عليها ممكن بقى يبقى حقوق مالية ممكن تبقى حقوق كمان ادبية ان انت مش من حقك مثلا على سبيل المثال ان انت تنشره تاني او تبيعه لجهة تانية قبل ما تاخد اذنه او تحوله لعمل من دون ما تاخد اذنه The importance of intellectual property rights is due to protection of the intellectual output of authors and creators, especially after the great developments of computer technology and innovation. So we are protecting the work of that authors. Consideration from different countries to the role of intellectual property in the revitalization of the world economy and achieving significant financial income from it. This means it is not only the rights, it is the play of the money. Intellectual property, rights equal money. Okay, so it is very important all over the world. The importance of intellectual property rights is due to maybe threatening the public health and safety of some aspects. The attention that is given to it by scholars of economics, as I told you, it is money in addition to the power. If you have a lot of intellectual property, a lot of patents, so you will govern and control others. هتتحكم في الناس طالما عندك حقوق ملكية فكرية وطالما عندك فرقات اقتراعات انت اللي هتحدد تدي المين وتدي بكام فبالتالي يبقى في نفوس يبقى فيه فلوس in addition there is you can use it in education okay and all of this is governed by law the foster grass of the lawless underground economy that escapes accountability providing funding for violent domestic and foreign based organized crime syndicates so the problem is very huge what is commonly infringed intellectual property as we see that is the icon of some uh, of the famous uh, industrial uh, items, uh, the data of the program, some of the films, and so on. So what is not copyrighted? It is unprepared speech, performance, titles, name, methods, and systems. According to the Egyptian law, law number 82 for the year 2002, it protects the right of the author, particularly written works, books, lectures, speech, computer programs, workbook, audio and video, databases, and work of art. حسب القانون المصري 82 لسنة 2002, whenever you are doing one of these items, you are protected by you, the author, and those who are inherited. The, the, the copyright of his work have the right to license for prevention copying of this work broadcast editing telecommunication network and so on so it is allowed to others to do the following acts the performance of the work in an educational institution without collection of money directly or indirectly at the same time we should put the name of the author and the title of the book. يعني ممكن نستخدم بعض الأجزاء من الشغل بتاع المؤلف دوت في مكان تعليمي بشرط إن أنا ما أخدش فلوس عليه لا دايركت ولا إندايركت. 
taking a single copy of the workbook for purely personal use. Use short sections of the workbook for teaching purposes. Copying an article or short part for teaching a single time. And the author should express his unwillingness to copy his work or to resort to encryption, and so he will have the legal right to prosecute after that. يعني إيه الكلام ده يعني أنا ممكن أستخدم شغل هذا المؤلف زي الكتب اللي إحنا بناخد منها أجزاء ونعلقكم بيها ممكن تبقى جزء صغير ممكن نستخدمه مرة واحدة هي في بس آيتم بيقول إن أنا من حقي أخد نسخة واحدة من الشغل بشرط إنها تبقى الاستخدام الشخصي وما يتم مش تداولها ده في حالة ما إذا سمح المؤلف بكده و ما أظهرش إن هو مش عايز إن حد ياخد شغل. If you are sharing a workbook, we are multiple person sharing the work, and one of us is dead. So the right of this person will be divided for others. If you are a victim of intellectual property crime. حد سرق منك بحث حد سرق منك كتاب contact the law enforcement بتروح تبلغ عليه في البوليس through documentation as an internal investigation بتقدم ما يفيد ان بلغك صحيح وتوثقه and preserve all evidence for this so the law will identify the stolen property and sharing the results of internal investigation and explore confidentiality matters. So what a patent protection in Egypt? لأن عايزك تعرف وبس تعرف المعلومات العامة إن في حاجة اسمها براءة اختراعات وإن احنا بنسجلها. What I need of you is to know what is protected by patency rights in Egypt just to know the idea. And this idea is present all over the world. The patent protection means it is exclusive right granted for anyone as a result of invention of a device or new technical solution. This happened in Academy of Scientific Research and Technology. And I want from you to know what is not granted as a patent. إيه اللي ما بيتمش اعتباره براءة اختراع What is not considered as a patent If you are discovering a new plant, new animal, new organ, new tissue, new DNA uh, If you discover a theory, mathematical methods Okay? It is not considered a patent You can have to put your name over it but it is not a patent Okay? You won't take money for this Otherwise, if you have to create something which can violate the national security as bombing as biological viruses or biological toxins you won't take a patent for this what about the medicine and drug here we are talking about money so in this condition you have patent for new drug or new medications Okay, but according to the law, it is allowed to have a license for this patent if and if the Ministry of Health, for example, uh, need this drug, he will pay a compensation for you to take this patent. As the law allows the issuance of compulsory license by using drug for several purposes, including health. For example, in this day we have coronavirus and you discover a new drug and you have a patent and you don't want to sell it to the Ministry of Health. There is what we call a compulsory license. They will take this in spite of your permission. Or non permission, they will take it anyway. Uh, at the same time, if it is you put a high price over the drug and it is needed to chronic disease, incurable endemics, they can take 
or need a compulsory license and they will compensate you. Also, a, a compulsory license in case of failure of the optional commercial license for manufacture and sell certain drugs in Egypt. Another article will talk about the regulation of the law on the procedures for grant of compulsory license. It is 36 to 43 article. I don't know uh, if you know it or not, but I don't want from you to know the details of this. But I show you that we have article that discuss all the details about how we re would regulate the drug licensing and the drug practice. There is a penalty for this. This penalty, by law, it is imprisonment for not less than a month and a fine for not less than 5,000 pounds and not exceeding 10,000 pounds or both for any who committed one of the following act. لو انت ما احترمتش الانتلكتشوال بروبرتي هيبقى في سيج ما يقلش عن شهر وغرامة من خمس تلاف الى عشر تلاف جنيه او الاتنين مع بعض في حالة ما اذا انت هتعمل حاجة من الحاجات اللي احنا حملتها. So in case if you sell or rent that workbook, you transforming it to audio and you publish it over a network without the permission of the author, transformation of the workbook, removal of the encryption or the technical protection is one of the faults that will uh, lead to your punishment. تشيل اللي هي مجرد ما بنشيل المانع التنزيل او مانع استعماله لهذا العمل مجرد شيل الجزء دوت بيعتبر violation to the intellectual rights. If there is an attack to the moral rights or financial rights of that author شلت اسمه خدت شغله من غير ما تقول ان هو ده شغله استفدت ماديا من الشغل دوت اوكي يبقى انت ايه بتقع تحت ضغط القوي if you repeat that act the imprisonment will be not less than three months and a fine not less than 10,000 and not exceeding 50,000 in all cases the court will order to declare that declare that whenever there is a punishment it will be published in a summary sentence imposed to a daily newspaper or more than uh, or more at the expense of the convicted person this means هيتم نشر العقوبة بجريدة عامة والنشر هيكون على حساب الشخص المتهم another law outside Egypt is called a fair use law it is limitation and exception to the exclusive right granted by the copyright law to the author of a creative work. Example for this is a criticism, commentary over that, uh, providing to the legal uh, unlicensed citation or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work. It is judged by four factors. What is that? Four factors. Number one, what is the purpose and character of the use of that work? Is it commercial, non-commercial, profitable, non-profitable, for educational purpose? So it is number one. Secondly, what is the nature of the copyrighted work? What is the amount you are taking from this work? And what is the effect of the use upon the potential market or the value of the copyrighted work? يعني هو بيعتمد على أربع حاجات أنت خدت الشغل ده ليه طبيعته شعر مثلا قصيدة كتاب إيه الكمية اللي خدتها خلاص وتأثيره على حقوق المؤلف So as a student you may use lawfully acquired copyrighted works when producing their own educational multimedia project نقدر نعمل بيه assignment نقدر نعمل بيه project You can perform and display their own project in the course and retain them in their own portfolio. And the educator can retain indefinitely for workshops or portfolio, can be done for two years, use locally acquired copyrighted works when producing their own educational multimedia project. What to do? 
and what not to do. What to do if you would like a copy of CDs, video, software, you can take it from your staff member. But you don't have simultaneous use of that software that was bought to be used by a single user. 